Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. In this video, I'm going to give you guys some awesome tips when it comes down to harvesting your zucchini. So I'm going to harvest a couple of zucchini. Almost every week now, I do harvest a couple of zucchinis and squash and other stuff. So guys, the first thing you want to know when, when to harvest your zucchini, when it's six inches and above. And um, most of the time, we all like to grow a massive zucchini. It's good and bad. The good thing, you, you get more, you know, and it's big and it's massive, you know, zucchini. So you're like, whoa, look at my garden. I produce a massive one. But it comes with a price. It comes with a price because you're, t you're basically your plant is in a delay mood. It's in a slow growing mood process. So by you leaving it long, it also used so much energy to overgrow that one. And your little smaller zucchini is taking forever to grow. So what do you want to do? Harvest when it's young. When you harvest when it's young, you're basically training your plant and telling your plant, hey, I'm ready for more. Your plant is going to push through the energy up to the other one and start growing them. So instead of harvesting once, you know, one zucchini every two weeks, you could harvest three, four in two weeks. So that's how I do it. And I also prune. I prune like if there's a zucchini right next to the leaf, I'll show you guys. I prune that leaf out so this way the plant doesn't push more energy to the leaf. It push more to the fruit. And it was raining yesterday and the day before the evening so I didn't come in here and prune. So some of them are overgrown and I made sure today it's nice and I wait till the evening time and now I'm going to harvest them. So I do have a bunch of plants. Uh, we're going to go to this one right here first. So I'm going to show you guys this one. Um, as you guys see, I prune every leaf out from the bottom and I got a stake so it's growing vertically. So beautiful zucchini guys. So now you come over here very, let me show you guys. We come right here and we snap, cut it right here. Now when we cut this off, you turn around, ah, oh, see that? So this was already getting a little bit yellow here. I mean, it rests on here too with the water stain. But it's now like fully yellow so this is pretty good now as you guys see i just harvest that and this is a massive leaf right here and we do guys when you're pruning make sure your plant have six to eight leaves this plant has a lot of leaf so what are we gonna do i'll show you guys always i come and cut that one out now if we look we have a one two three four five we have a bunch here so we're gonna cut out this bottom one here this is all the way to the bottom there's literally nothing there now you see that we have some we have about we you know we have over eight leaves now our energy is gonna basically come up is some is gonna go here but this leaf is already grown most of it is gonna come to here and we got here and this male flower here so and then look we have a lot more females so now our energy is gonna push through come within another four or five days i am guaranteeing you guys this and this is going to be ready to harvest so this one is kind of a little hiding here but um i i could see him overgrown a little bit so you can see this plant i haven't pruned or you know anything much with this plant and you could see how it's growing all over when it's growing all over like this this soil i have to richen up this soil this is not going to have enough nutrition in so most of my fruit might end up turning yellow so harvesting this guy right now will be a big plus so i'll come right here uh, let me take a look all right so this is a perfect example when it's starting again ripe this will be good for my pet pig pepper this you're not going to get the best taste juicy taste when it's grilling but it's still delicious don't get me wrong it's still delicious but you know don't make this mistake like i do guys leave it on for too long like this because then you know look i'll show you right here see that one right there that one right there is not making it it's dried up it didn't pollinate it probably or i don't have enough nutrition because basically this plant is just growing leaves it's a lot of leaf i'm gonna show you in another video how i'm pruning this plant and how I'm gonna stake it up and do it properly. I did actually get a couple harvests, but I wanna show you guys a quick thing. You see how that's yellow right there? That's not gonna make it. Now, when it's like that right there, the flower didn't even get a chance to pollinate or nothing. It literally means my plant, my soil need more nutrition, especially calcium, or it could also mean that I'm overwatering it or underwater. I did have some rain and stuff, so, I think I have enough water. I think it just don't have enough nutrition because it's been uh, producing 
you know, multiple zucchini and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do by helping it right away is to harvest this guy and get this away so most of the energy now could come up. So if we turn it around, it's getting a little bit yellow right here. You could see like the little lighter yellow I was telling you guys. But it's, um, it looks delicious still. All right, so I'm in, I'm in like in a tough spot right now. And I'm gonna get this guy. Oh. I'm not a fan of these spikes right there. I don't like these spikes, guys. So, oh. these guys, oh, the sun. This is just a beautiful zucchini, guys. Look at it. Beautiful. I just love the color and everything like that. And um, basically, we're looking at my collection. I'll show you guys the collection when I'm done. We got a couple there coming so far. Let me gonna go around and see what else more. I saw there's a baby young, uh, nice one right here. We're gonna go ahead and cut him out. Don't even leave him as I'm here. As I'm here, I'm just gonna do it because we do have some young one coming up. So I do have some young squash too. I gotta go through uh, this garden. Just wanted to show you quick. I do have some more round ones coming up. Those are the round zucchinis. All right, guys. So. Uh, there you go, beautiful basket of zucchinis. And um, as I told you guys, I'm always grateful and always blessed. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's one, doesn't matter if it's like six, seven. Um, so always grateful, you know, and uh, always be proud of yourself, guys. If you harvest one or two, always be proud of yourself, guys, because you, you gotta remember, you grow it, you did it, and you did it all by your own, all right? And if, if you grow it in your backyard, your front yard, in your home, doesn't matter where you grow it, you grow it and you work hard and you did it. And you know what you put in your plant and you saw the process, you saw the steps and you did everything and you produce veggies right at home. So, and you know, fresh veggies are 10 million times better than the one in the store. Even the skin and even the inside of the one in the store, you cut it from the, when you cut it this, it's such a big difference. The smell, the taste, everything is a big difference. So nothing beat of fresh vegetables coming from your backyard. So if you guys are growing and you and if you guys are learning my tips and you guys are growing, always be always you know tell yourself you're doing an awesome job guys. And I'm telling you guys keep up the awesome work and grow your vegetables. Stuff is getting so expensive out here right now. You do want to grow your own stuff guys. Too much of money, triple the price right now for vegetables and everything else. Let's not even talk about gas. So this right here, save this money and, and buy gas. So quick recap, always harvest your zucchini six to eight inches and give it a light pruning guys. You know, even cut out one leaf right next to it will help boost your plant. I know a lot of people don't like to cut it, but if you live in a zone like me, guys, you do want to harvest. You do want to prune a little bit so you could get more uh, harvest. I only harvest a couple days ago. You guys saw one of my video. I only harvest a couple days ago, and today again I'm harvesting. So it hasn't been a week yet. I might upload this video tomorrow. Uh, I might work on this video tomorrow and upload it. And guys, if you're new. Welcome to Green Tea Garden. We're all about going to a better home garden together, guys. If you subscribe, you're supporting my channel. It's 100% free. And if you click the bell icon, every time I upload a video, you guys will get the notification right away. And it might be a video that you guys are looking to get some awesome tips or you just love Green Tea Garden and hanging out with Green Tea Garden. And everyone who's been watching, I really, really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. And I do love all your comments and everything like that. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you, guys. And if you guys are on Facebook and anywhere, please share my videos for a bonus. I always love that. And uh, basically, you know, trying to get my channel out there. And hopefully, you know, we could get all over so people could be growing their own veggies right in their backyard.